Nope. This isn't an UGG sponsorship video, guys. I just really like UGG. Hey guys, it's Lizzie and welcome back to another video. So I was thinking, hmm, what should I upload next? So I realized that my unboxing UGG collection was getting a lot of views. So from the time that I uploaded my UGG collection video until now, I have purchased quite a few more Uggs so I'm like why not make a part two I do have some Uggs over here and I'm going to show you guys what else I've added to my Ugg collection so let's get to it so in my last video if you guys didn't watch it make sure you watch that I said how I left the pair of shoes at work yes I did work at Ugg so that's how I got a lot of these shoes Again, I'm not sp sponsoring UGG, but if UGG, you want to sponsor me, then I don't mind, you know? I got you guys. So the first ones, the ones that I left at work, I don't have them in a box. They're just like this. So they're like a light blue, baby blue color. A light blue, baby blue. So they're like a baby blue um, color. They are a little bit creased at the top. So I did use these for work. I tried my best at keeping them clean, but there are a little bit drop marks here. But I can definitely get that clean. These ones have the little bows at the back. So these are the Bailey Bow Minis. I don't know exactly what color they are. Um, these are actually in size two kids, guys. Yes, my feet are tiny. Next I have is these guys. These guys. So these ones I've actually been wanting for a while. Say since maybe January, February, but... I didn't know if they were gonna look ugly on my feet but then I like to wear a lot of jogging pants and a lot of tights and I feel like these would look perfect in that outfit so these are the new Mel's in the chestnut these are absolutely gorgeous they say UGG right on the side they're they have fur all on the inside of the shoe these ones I really like because I'm not a like a heavy shoe person and these are pretty light and these are really really comfy like I've tried them at work but I've never like I haven't worn them for a long period of time but Uggs usually are very comfortable to wear and if you don't like the boots but you're more of like a sneaker person I would definitely suggest these ones so that's how those ones look okay next okay so these ones I have in a different color I told you guys in the last video how a lot of people said these shoes were ugly and I actually thought they probably are ugly why did I purchase them so I have them in a gray and I'm like okay I want them in a different color so I ended up getting them in black so these are the Tasmans these are absolutely the most comfortable shoes that I have ever owned they have like the little design at the top where people are like, ugh. But I don't know, I really like them. And these look so nice with jogging pants. I wear my gray ones in jo with jogging pants all the time. Um, you can wear these with jeans, tights. You can really wear them with anything. The inside of the shoe, again, has fur all on the inside. Basically, all of Ugg shoe, like all, every single Ugg shoe is like, like has fur all on the inside. But these, if you guys are at the store and you guys are like, I don't know if I should get them. If you're iffy on it, I would say get them. But yeah, that's what they look like. They're super, super comfortable. Super comfortable. So the next pair that I'm going to show you guys is... I would call them basic. Because almost everyone has them. And when you think of Uggs, these are the ones that come to mind. So I'm going to show you guys them. At first I was like, mm, I'm never going to get those. I never want them. I don't want to be like everyone else. But... I ended up being like everyone else. So those would have to be, or those would be, the classic shirt and chestnut. When you think of Uggs, this is what comes to mind. But yeah, so these are the Ugg classic shirt and chestnut. I kept saying no, 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 but I fell through and I'm like, I'm just gonna get myself a pair but those are these all right next we have that's my receipt next we have 
another classic short but this time in the color gray so i realized i don't have that many gray shoes from ugg the only ones that i think i have is the tasman and then i have the mini fluffs and i was like i don't have any shorts or any like boot size gray boots or shoes and i wear a lot of cardigans that are in gray so i'm like why not grab the gray ones as well so i went through and i got the gray ones these are the exact same as the chestnut that i just showed you guys it's just in the color gray but those are like this they say ug on the back same thing as the other ones and then the whole inside is filled with fur I like how the inside of the fur is the same colors as the shoes. So these are the ones in gray. I can't wait to wear these. It's officially Ugg season, guys. Okay, so the next one I'm showing you guys is the last pair that I got for myself. The other ones is for gifts or for my family members. So I'm going to show you guys those ones after these ones. So these are the last ones that I got for me that are in this collection those ones are the mini the classic minis these ones are just in black so I do have other classic minis but I have them in chestnut and gray uh, which are the fluff ones and I don't have any minis in black the only black shoes that I have would be the tagments that I just showed you now. And I have these short um, Bailey, the Bailey bows. So these are the only classic shorts that I have right now. I feel like everybody needs black shoes because black shoes match with anything, any outfit. So these would definitely go with any outfit. The only downside I hear from people who don't like the black shoes is that the inside of the shoes like the fur and like tend to dye your socks if you wear white socks so what i usually do is i wear black socks whenever i'm wearing the black shoes just because i don't want them to stain my socks it doesn't really bother me to be honest i know it does bother a lot of people i read reviews and i see that people get really mad about it but it's cool with me it doesn't matter i really don't care but yep these are the classic shorts minis so these are the minis so now i have the classic minis I have the classic shorts but yeah so these are these guys guys if you have any questions about uggs feel free to message me in my comments message feel free to comment on this video i'll be more than happy and i'll try my best to answer the questions for you and if there are questions that i don't know the answer to i can ask the manager from the ugg store that i worked at and i'm pretty sure they'll be more than happy to answer them for you I'm going to do the ones I got my sister because she knows that I got them for her So I got these for her for her birthday. Her birthday's not till November, but I'm actually I'm making this video because I'm dropping them off tomorrow, but I have one more pair of shoe Coming in in a few days So I'm not gonna upload this video until I get those shoes, but The reason I'm doing this right now is because I need to I need to drop off the pair for my mom and my sister once I started working at UGG and I started wearing my UGG shoes, my sister were like, ooh, those are so nice. But before I started working at UGG, she used to talk so much smash about UGG all the time. But then she started saying how she really likes the minis when I used to wear them and her birthday's coming up in November. So I'm like, why not just buy her a pair? So I have these, but in the black color. So I ended up getting her the classic minis as well, but in the gray. She said how she wanted them in gray. She even put it on her Christmas wish list. So she used to talk so much about how she hates Uggs. But she ended up wanting a pair so we got her these ones. She saw me wearing the chestnut ones. Um, my other sister, I got her the chestnut ones as well. But I guess she wants them in gray. Didn't ask why. Maybe gray's her favorite color. Probably not. But these are those. And these are for her. All right, so next pair is the ones I got for my mom, but she ended up wanting a black pair. So a lot of these are more of the classic shoes. So we're still sticking with classic. I ended up getting her the classic black. 
I'm not gonna pull the other one out just because it's gonna be too much work. It looks like it's dirty in the camera, but it's actually not. There's a lot of cardboard on it, but that's okay. But that's that. So these are just the classic shorts. Plain black. She really likes Uggs. So we got her the black classic shorts. Next, I got my friend a pair of slippers. We got him the black scuffs. So these are super comfy. I got these for my mom. I've got them for my boyfriend's mom and my boyfriend's dad. Because they come in a woman style as well. But this is a men's style. I'm pretty sure, like, I feel like they're neutral. I feel like women and men can wear them. Just because the women ones and the men ones look exactly the same. So these ones are the scuffs. They have a short platform, which I really, really like. Everyone needs Ugg slippers. If you don't, if you own Uggs and you don't own Ugg slippers, then I purchased a pair of Ugg slippers. But those are the scuffs. So we have one more pair left. These are my boyfriend's. So these are the buttes. They are huge. My boyfriend's feet are size 14, guys. And then there's me a size 2 in kids or size 3 in kids. Like, look at this. Hello. But these are the buttes. So these are very similar to the woman Adirondacks, but these are the Buttes and men. These are all in black. These are the only Uggs my boyfriend owns. He doesn't, he's not a fan of Uggs. He actually wears them. We actually lost them for a while and he was so mad. He's like, where are my Ugg boots? Where are my Ugg boots? Like, bro, you just told me that you don't even like Uggs. You're such a liar. But those are those. These ones are um, insulated up to neg negative 20 degrees. So they do keep your feet really, really warm. So the last thing that I have is not a pair of shoes. They're actually also my boyfriend's. I'm going to stand up to show you it. So let me just fix the camera. I'm gonna put it in a way that where I'm standing so you guys can actually see it. All right, so like I said, the next thing isn't a pair of shoes. It's actually a jacket. So this is what it looks like. This is actually called the men's boot jacket. So this is the matching style to the boots. Let me show you how it looks. So this is the jacket on the inside. I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but the jacket comes with a vest, which is pretty cool because not that many jackets come with vest. And if you're buying a jacket and it comes with a vest, why not? That's, that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna put it on, even though I know it's not gonna fit me. The vest might fit me, but the jacket itself won't. So there's a vest. And then you got the jacket. You can actually leave the vest on while you wear the jacket, or you can take it off. But what's up? I don't know. I really like this jacket. They have it in women's as well. I wanted to get it, but I'm not a fan of parkas. I feel like it makes me look so much more short. It's super warm and I know that jacket is insulated as well. I'm not sure about degree wise because I can't find this jacket on the UGG website anymore. It probably is, but I didn't check properly. But this is the jacket. All right, guys. So that was the entire collection that I do have right now. There is one more pair, like I was saying before, that I am waiting on. So it should be here shortly. Well, not really shortly. Shortly for you guys, but maybe a few days for me. But we'll be right back with that other pair. And we're back. Told you guys it was going to take only a few seconds. So I ended up getting the boots that I was waiting for. And I also ended up going to my sister's house to drop off the boots that I got for her and that I got for my mom. While I was at my sister's house, I was, you know, being nosy and was going through her closet. And I actually found a pair of heels that I got her back in. I think it was like the Christmas time. And I was like, can I have these? Can I show them in this collection video? Just because I want to give you guys a different perspective on what UGG is. Because when a lot of people think of UGGs, they think of like the UGG boots. But they don't know that UGG has like sandals, they have sneakers, they have slides, they have um, heels. So I'm going to show you guys those first before I show you the last pair that I got for myself. And those ones are these right over here. So these are obviously heels as you guys can see. Um, they have more of a thicker heel 
but I've heard a lot of people say that these shoes are extremely comfortable. Me, I don't wear heels at all. I can't wear heels. I cannot walk in heels. But my sister can, and when I showed her these, she was like, get them for me. So I'm like, okay, I'll get them for you. These are called the Woman Redwoods. These ones are a waterproof suede. So these are actually waterproof, so you can wear them like in the rain, in the snow. And it won't damage the inside of the shoe. So these ones are not furry on the inside. They just have a regular insole. But again, they are extremely comfortable from what I heard. They're, you can lace them right up. And then right over here on the like top part of the boot or heel it has the cushion which makes it extremely comfortable so that's that i don't know i really like these if i saw them in the store and i'm like i want them but i can't walk in heels so why not get them for my sister but that is that i think she's probably worn them once because they look extremely clean but yeah ugg doesn't only have boots guys so the next pair I'm going to show you guys are a shoe that I was a little iffy about. I really wanted them. I liked how they looked online, but I didn't want to order them because I'm like, what if they don't look the same as they do online? Because I'm pretty sure you've gone online shopping and you guys seen things that look good online, but look completely different in store. So I went in store and I looked at them and I'm like, okay, hey, I'm getting those. Um, they didn't end up having the ones in store. And then one of my friends at the UGG location that I worked at was like, hey, just letting you know that we have the shoe in stock if you want them. And I was like, yes, I want them. So I ended up picking them up today. I'm super happy, guys. I'm going to show you guys them. And guys, these are one of their newer, um, these are one of their newer boots that they just actually dropped. And I saw a lot of bad reviews on them. A lot of people were talking about how they're not like they make your foot look so wide but when i try them on they look perfectly fine for me and i really like them so i'm like okay i'm gonna take them okay so they're these ones people say they're so ugly but i'm actually so happy i got my hands on these i'm so happy so these are the classic mini clears i think they're called again the whole inside has the fur and the outside of the shoe is like a plastic i'm pretty sure it's plastic and it's see-through so you can actually see the fur right through so that would be the black fur that's on the inside but these are i'm just really happy with these because these ones i feel like if i go outside in the snow in the rain and i want to clean them i just gotta get a cloth and just wipe them and i don't know they're, they're gonna look so nice especially in the fall since fall season coming up and in the spring when it starts to rain a lot more and in the winter when it snows like no i'll get basically three seasons out of these but yeah i'm so happy with these i'm actually so happy all right guys so that is the end of my uh, collection part two who knows i might have a collection part three because i'm having a little obsession on ugg right now so if you guys did enjoy this video if you guys do love ugg the way i love ugg then hit that like button don't forget to subscribe and guys don't forget stay safe i'll see you guys in my next video bye